Participatory democracy will train people to be active, but the feedback loops on the internet are extremely short. Ten years will be too long for somebody to see the result of what they want. The shortest attention spans pretend result faster. Will people have the stamina to keep going and do stuff? It's a great question. I have no proof that they will. But I think that um, I'm, not, I'm not convinced that short attention spans are the death to this type of activity. Because if you can create movements that just make small demands repeatedly in a way that increasingly perform, creates a rhythm to political action, where people have to give up their life and have to give up their career, but they can engage and they do engage because it's simple and it's obvious how to do it in a simple and direct way, then there's a real chance that that can be mobilized into something effective, something powerful. Uh, at least that's a promise. Now, I think the greatest thing to fear is that the hope that's been created around this election uh, turns into cynicism. That, that would be very distracting. Um, is it possible that, just as it happened in Italy when the euro needed to be adopted, when Italians voted for the euro in extremely large percentages because they knew that the nation needed the discipline that that would impose, that the type of change that you want to enact in the political process could be imposed by supranational entities? Well, there's no way under our constitution that a supranational entity would have the power to do that. Um, and, and, this, and there's not a similar kind of financial structure to create it, because there's, um, there's no financial structure that could insist that elections be publicly funded in the United States. Now, you know, indirectly you could get there if the nation starts falling off the cliff economically um, and people believe it's because the system of governance has, has gone so radically wrong. Uh, that might be enough to get the, the people to actually make the change, but I don't think there's a supranational dynamic that's going to bring it about in the United States. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, David. Great to see you.